What's going on guys? Tom here. And as you can see, we're out in the RV today. Uh, we are in our 2019 Sundance, which is made by Heartland uh, Travel Trailer. If you haven't seen the video where we kind of do a walkthrough of, of the RV, uh, go check out that video. Uh, but a little bit about the RV, if you haven't seen that video, uh, it's a front bedroom, it's got double slide, it's got a jackknife couch, uh, dinette, you know, like, you know, just uh, bench seating. And then it's got the, um, you know, recliners, and then obviously kitchen, bathrooms in the middle. Uh, so yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. This video is actually uh, something I've been wanting to do for a couple months now, where I saw it at a RV show in um, uh, Syracuse, New York at the State Fairgrounds. And one of the RVs actually, under the bed storage, instead of having full storage in there, they actually had a cutout. So you could actually slide a dog crate in there which um, I thought was a great idea, and I was thinking, you know, maybe I could modify the RRV to, to kind of do something like that uh, for the dog, which you can hear running around in here. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this isn't the actual dog crate that we normally use. The one we usually use is actually a tiny bit smaller. It's like plastic sided, uh, but you get the point. You know, when you're coming into the bedroom here, uh, down the hallway, you actually, you know, I have to, you know, kind of step over the dog crate to get into the bed. Uh, so it's just kind of in the way and it covers a, that outlet back there. And, you know, it's just kind of a pain to get in and out. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll be able to cut out a notch in the side of the storage of the bed and, uh, you know, go, go from there. Now I just set up this, uh, this, you know, this crate, I just bought it specifically for under the bed and, uh, it does have a side door. So that was kind of one of the things I was looking for and it opens the right direction. So, um, yeah, and we don't really use a ton of the storage under the bed because we've got, you know, a bunch of layers of like mattress toppers and stuff on here, which looks like a lot, but it actually makes the bed, you know, just as much comfortable or, you know, just as com comfortable as, as our, uh, uh, you know, bed in the house. And uh, it, uh, but the problem is it makes the bed so rigid that when you go to actually lift it up, uh, it's just the struts, you know, the shocks or whatever, don't, don't really lift it anymore. And it's just kind of a pain. And we've got tons of other storage in this RV that, um, you know, it's not really a problem. So I'm, I'm perfectly happy, you know, sacrificing a little bit of that under storage area. So if we lift this up, um, it's hard to do one-handed, but uh, as you can see, there's just a few items in here. It's really not that bad. Most of it can move over there. Um, probably don't need this basket in here, you know, things like that. Good time to go through it and get rid of things that we don't use. Uh, but yeah, so the plan is to, to kind of cut that out a little bit and, uh, you know, see if we can get this to slide in there. So yeah, this is all I need to cut out. Or are you helping? Hi. <laughs> Um, yes, we're doing this for you. Um, so if you, uh, if you look inside here, we'll actually be able to cut this out pretty easily and I'll just have to remove this one support. And then, um, you know, I think, I think it'll still hold. Okay. It's not like, uh, you know, we weigh too much. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, I don't, I don't break anything. <laughs> all right. So I was able to get that side panel out, uh, without any tools at all. Uh, you know, it's just a little staple. So I just kind of like, you know, kind of knocked around, you know, th this back corner got a little tough. So you can see I did break it a little bit, but it's actually, uh, it might be reusable. Cause what I think I want to do is, is go back in where the dog is here and build kind of a false wall. So that way, you know, when she's in her crate, it's not, um, you know, she can't pull blankets in and chew on things and stuff like that. So I still want it to be a separate area. So now the next step is just to remove this piece and then, uh, should be good to go. Okay, so I did end up having to swap this crate out with a different one because even though I measured 24 inches, uh, you know, across, the crate with, you know, some of these attachments and things, it adds about a half inch. So, um, unfortunately, it just, I thought it was going to be a perfect fit, but it was just a hair too big. You know, I was just basically trying to just smash it in, you know, brute force it, but it, uh, even that wasn't working. So let's, uh, let's try to get this, uh, this little one in. I think that should work a lot better. So like I said, this one's a tiny bit smaller. Uh, the last one was a 24 inch and this is a 22. So it's not really that big of a difference. I'm not sure if it'll fit as is. Let me, I'll give it a shot, but I think I'll have to collapse it to get it in the hole. Yep, just a hair too big. All 
All right, so the goal is, um, at least the next step is I'm going to take the piece that I took off of this and then rebuild it as kind of a, a facade. So that way, you know, I'll have a hole cut out that this can still open, but it's not gonna look like, you know, all this exposed wood. And then on the back side, I'm gonna build a false wall. So that way, um, the, uh, you know, I can keep other stuff in here without the dog, you know, chewing on it when, when she's bored or whatever, you know, that kind of thing in the middle, middle of the night. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be the next step. Perfect. Nice. So what I did was I just, uh, for the back side of the crate, like I said, I don't want the dog to be able to pull blankets and stuff through and, um, you know, just get in trouble or get hurt, is I built this little, uh, you know, false wall, you know, not just scrap, you know, crap, crap wood basically from the clearance rack on, at Home Depot. And then I had this from an old bookcase that almost perfectly matches the color that we're already using. Not that it matters, but I will, uh, I'm going to use the nail gun here and uh, uh, just staple this on and then, then we'll tack it in place. All right, so I got the false wall in. So as you can see, it's all nice and enclosed. Um, the big thing is you need to make sure that you've got enough airflow here. So um, I have a Bluetooth temperature sensor. So I'm actually gonna put that in here. Um, you know, even with the, you know, the temperature, because uh, we run the AC, if, if we do leave the dog in here at all, um, we do run the AC and I can monitor that temperature sensor when we're gone. So just something to keep in mind is you want to make sure you've got enough airflow, you know, for the dog so it doesn't get too hot in here, even with the air conditioner running. So um, just something to, you know, like I said, just keep in mind. But with us, it's not a problem because I can keep an eye on the temperature wherever we go. All right. So now I've actually got a way to, you know, get around the bed and everything without having to jump on the end of it. And the dog will have her nice little hideout here. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so, you know, kind of a silly project, but uh, I think it'll save me a lot of pain getting in bed every night. Um, you know, first world problems, obviously, but uh, yeah, I th thought it was a pretty fun project and pretty interesting. So um, uh, one thing I will do is I will put a link to the that uh, wireless um, uh, temperature and humidity sensor that I mentioned. Uh, we use that in the house and it, when we're camping. Thing works great. You just need internet access. Uh, so if you've got a wireless hotspot, you'll be able to access the uh, temperature sensor wherever you are. And that way you'll get an alert if temperature gets too high, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, just a uh, pretty, pretty cool project.